Hi, James from the 11 Plus Tutors again. Today I'm going to talk to you, um, it's really only year fives, about a special type of sequence that can come up in the 11 Plus exams called an nth term sequence. Now that sounds, it sounds very complicated, nth term, but what it really means is, is something quite straightforward. Um, it's, a, it's a sequence that is dependent on the position in the sequence. So N stands for position one, or N could be position two, N could be position three, and so on. And we have a rule. Now the rule is written as a sort of algebraic expression. But, um, it's nothing to worry about. You get a number next to a letter, you've got minus one. When you get a number next to a letter in algebra, what that actually means is times or lots of. So that means two lots of N minus one. That's our rule for this sequence. And it's dependent upon the position for each one. So the first one would be two times one, because n is one here, minus one. So it'd be two minus one is one. When n is two, two times two is four, minus one is three. Two times three is six, minus one is five. Two times four is eight, minus one is seven. 2 times 5 is 10, minus 1 is 9. So it's pretty straightforward, as you can see. This one, for example, 3 times n plus 2. So n is 1, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14. 3 times 5 is 15, plus 2 is 17. So that's nice, isn't it? We get told the rule, we get the sequence, we know that this, the answer is dependent upon the position and sequence. Remember, not all types of sequence are nth term sequence, it's a special type of sequence. Now, what if we're given the answers, but we're told to work out the rule? Well, actually, it's not as difficult as it seems. It seems a bit bizarre what you've got to do but you just follow a couple of steps. It's very straightforward. So when n is one, what we do is we look at the difference between answers between when n is one and n is two. And here we've got a difference of three. So we know that it's three n. Then what we do, step two, is we test it with n is one. So three times one is three, but the answer's four. So we know we have to adjust it. Let's test it. Three times two is six, plus one is seven, it works. Three times three is nine, plus one is 10, it works. Difference between the first answer and the second answer, that's what it is times n. Then you test it with n is one. Three times one is three, but the answer's four, so we know we have to adjust it by adding one. Now it could be that we need to adjust it by subtracting something. It can go either way. But then a classic thing in the exam is they'll say, well, what would it be at position 121 in the sequence? What would the answer be? And some poor old kids would try and work out uh, manually, right, the whole sequence up to position 121. But of course, we've worked out the rule here. So we know that it's three times 121. So we've got 121 times three. So that's three, six, one, but then plus one. The answer is 164. I hope you've enjoyed that uh, short video. I look forward to seeing you next time.